welcome to another legendary walkthrough of the UKG I'm 2019. Bouncing, That's right, he's my bodyguard while I walk through the masses. All right, we're gonna do another walkthrough of the hall. It's really big this time, so we're gonna do hall one now, maybe hall two tomorrow. See how that goes. And it opens in 10 minutes. Yeah, so, so it's it gonna be get noisy. Loud soon. All right, let's switch this over and we'll do that get going. All right, all right, this is the entrance as you can go from. This is the entrance. As you can see, there the people are starting to come in already. We've got some Deadpool minions over here. And we're gonna start oh, going. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go off to the right. Alright, as you come in, you've got a massive Games Workshop stand here with all the new 40k products, Age of Sigma products, the new color contrast stuff. Really nice like diorama type yeah. Yeah. Huge stand. And then on the right to them is Mythic Games. Joan of Arc. Yeah, Jason's love, loving this. I know, I really am. And there's as touting his stuff as usual. We got Solomon Kane. Look at that dragon. I know the dragon is huge. It's like so intimidating. The Godzilla type size, isn't it? They got all the games. They got a new game as well. Uh, Super Fantasy Brawl. This is coming to Kickstarter soon. The miniatures are fantastic. Oh wow, they really are nice, yeah. Yeah. That, that, oh, high up over there is my favorite. I really like that one. Yeah. I like that one a lot. Yeah, that's really nice. Yeah, wow, they're really nice models. Yeah, nice. arena style battle game. Keep an eye out for that. Over here, we got Cubicle 7. Should we go down here? Because RPGs. Most of the family zone on that side. Okay, there is something there. Oh, yeah. Holy, Holy Grail, Grail games. games. They've got, um, obviously, Museum. Uh, but they've also got this coming to Kickstarter later in the year. Ooh, this looks cool, I haven't it's, seen this. It's basically like um, gathering re it's like a Euro game, gathering resources from Titan, kind of digging and whatnot. I don't know, I had a brief explanation of it, but it sounds interesting. Oh yeah, mate. And the board is going to look quite similar to that as well. Yeah. That looks really cool, really eye-catching when you see it on the table. It's this. That's what it's going to look like in the finished article. Really all, nice. All plastic and whatnot. Yeah. Definitely keep an eye out for that. Right, I just paused it there for a minute while God was speaking. <laughs> for, for those who didn't know, God is actually a woman. Yep, that's right. As we all expected. So this is the family zone on the right here. We've got Ticket to Ride London. Oh, and Days of Wonder obviously as well. Now this is the Days of Wonder section. Family zone is up next. For sale here, Days of Wonder, is it just demos? I don't know. I don't know what this oh, is. Right. Some, some act strap games. Take it easy. No, not the moment, thank you. Not, not later though. Yeah. This is uh, Tristan Hall's stand with 1056 and Shadows of Gloom Killforth. They've got a 1565 out coming as well. Apparently. Yeah. I think it's the Siege of Malta, isn't it? What do we have here? Oh, this is the Oink, Oink Games with all their little fun little filler games. Atlantis Miniatures, one of my favorite miniature companies. There you go. If you're looking for really bespoke, nice looking miniatures, you definitely should check out Atlantis miniatures. These trials are cool. Oh yeah, fantastic. Man, they he's do. good as well, look at that. I mean, look at these goat riders. You can use them as proxies in uh, the Lord of the Rings games. Absolutely and Jason fantastic. Jason goat riding, isn't it? <laughs> uh, we've got Boda games. Hello. Oh, hey. Games and gears. They're selling paintbrushes here as well. Paintbrush set. You can see over the bundle over here, we've got a special bundle for the UKG. Get a lot of paintbrush assists. Looks some good stuff. I think you need a little leather wallet for your paintbrushes. Yeah. What's this? Like, oh, candles and soaps and things. Should we do another 10 minute video of watching a candle burn? <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right, yeah. <laughs> it's another sort of abstract stuff. Uh, this is so good. I know. This is um, where you get core space, but also battle systems. We've got a Kickstarter coming soon for fantasy card terrain. Look at this stuff. Yeah, it's fantastic. Amazing. This is the new. This is card terrain, folks. This is, is it, where. Is it actually cardboard? Yeah. It's yeah. really nice. This is their new Kickstarter and coming the soon. As well. Yeah. Oh, that is fantastic. Really, really good. I'm really impressed with this. I mean, they're known for the, the post-apocalyptic and the zombie town stuff and all this nah, space. Nah, it's about the fantasy for me. Look at that. That is phenomenally good. So you can see, Kickstarter coming soon. Well, I've got to be honest, that does look quite cool as well. Yeah, so good. We've got Thirsty Meeples, board That's game cafe. I haven't missed a stand so far. This is Saturday, by the way, so it yeah. in two days. <laughs> and seeing stuff for the first time as well. Look at the size of it. It's a massive store. 
Right, what have we got here on the left? Uh, this is Brain Games, I think. I got a lot of people coming through here, so I'm just gonna. Yeah, snowman dice is new. You basically stack up your, your snowman and then you have to shove them along onto the thing. Yeah. This sounds awesome. I was talking about this on the press preview we, of Friday. We may have to get one a couple of these, man. It sounds hilarious. Three player game, one person sees the card and is it whispers to the other person? Yep. The other person then. Do, like directs to the oh, I don't know how it works but well, it's, it looks hilarious yeah, it really is it's actually really fun you'll check this out the brain games coming up soon All right. I'm going to move across these hordes of people quickly the yep harbour look at this you can bring your kids around to the expo try out all the cool harbour games they got some new ones as well I've got Hunger which I tried out on Friday which is over there on the table Dragon's Breath as well. That would be really good. Yeah, this was all all of them are really interesting what looking. Shit. That is cool. I assume you don't want to lose the ball. Into the hole. So you gotta drag it all the way up. Yeah. Yeah. Try and deliver the items to the right parcel present. So you've got a green cabbage. Guy here, uh, on the lookout for his green cabbage, so you want to try and get it in that Some clever stuff. Yeah, very nice. Very cute. And all the different castle residents are looking for something a little bit different. So they're all oh, looking that's for really a cool. different coloured item. I genuinely thought that was just a picture of windows. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, very clever. We sold out of Dragon's Breath. Yes, we have a new, We sold out within two hours. I'm yesterday. not surprised, yeah. yeah. It looks really fun. Right, this is the family zone. Well, you got all the large games. Look at this. You got massive Karuba there. So the compulsion to whack you out of here with that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> massive ticket to ride. Massive pandemic. Massive whatever the ship game that is. What's this on the left? Uh, Spring. All right. So you can see. Eureka! Jesus, there's some kind of riot going on. <laughs> we better run. So, so you can see just the breadth of um, demo tables available. You can try pretty much anything around you. Oh, this looks cool, huh? It really does. What is this? SOS, SOS Dino. Dino. Oh, another one to buy for the kids. Lots of 3D components. Some really cool looking dinosaurs. Yeah, awesome, yeah. Oh, I might have to come back and get this for the children as well. We've both bought this. Yeah, zombie <laughs> kids. kids. Legacy style game. It looks yeah. really, really and fun. It's like, unlike other legacy games, it's like plays 36 games of it, but they're really short, yeah. quick fire games. All right, what else we got? Uh, we got Rudy Games. Not heard of them before. Looks like more sort of educational style games. Yeah, let's go with that, sure. <laughs> uh, imagination Gaming on the right here. Little coffee stand at the back there. We've got Thieves, the most exciting game of strategy and chance. I mean, that's a bold statement. <laughs> yeah. we got Exploding Kittens. Isn't there, Oh, there's oh, the... there's the vending machine. Do you want to go do it? Oh, they're probably not yeah. in there now. Oh, it's hilarious. There was a video posted by um, UK Games Expo to Facebook of someone using it, and it was absolutely hilarious. Well, now I don't know what it is. Yeah. Something down there as well, at least. Guess what they do? They're very similar symbols to similar to I don't know. Why? It's a, a random stand. The Doom Seeker looks cool. Yeah. Oh, it's Ninja Division. I think we should come back to this uh, vending machine later and try it out. It's quirk, yeah. MMA working hard as usual. Look at this thing. Is it tilting? Yes, the idea is your players work together to try and move the guy. Are you all, play, all using one? Yeah. I don't know how many players, four of you? Each and using one. <laughs> oh god. This and you're going to avoid the holes, I imagine? Yeah, so if you want to grab the other two. What, you uh... So the idea is we try and move, move the knight across the line. Oh my god. As yeah. a team, so... Uh, so I want to go that, down that side, yeah, so... Yeah. You're doing a great job, Modern. Great job. Yeah, so I'm not built for Dex games. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Right. I'm coming back here to buy my children a pillow each as well. What the hell? I've not even seen this. What is this? <laughs> is that made out of pillow? <laughs> oh! <laughs> I've got shields and all sorts. Oh my god, this is awesome. Yep. Pillow Fight Warriors. Yep. 
So all you get these and children can beat the hell out of each other. How much are they? 20 quid for two. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. That's what I'll be doing. That is really cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm coming as well. <laughs> Plan B games. They got the new Century, third installment of Century over here. Is this Grimlord games? It is. It is. Nice Adam still not here. Yeah. He's got all his minions doing the work and he's sleeping in. Uh, no, he's gone elsewhere. <laughs> Yep. Um, Ever Rain. Ever Rain. It's looking still, good. Still prototype, but um, these, these are the ones what I'm talking about. These are all 3D printed on Adam's printer. <laughs> wow, they look pretty decent. That's what I thought. I mean, they're better than some final product. And obviously. All right. God uh, has just told us the doors have opened. Yeah, it's now going to get loud and busy. <laughs> so we're going to try and move through the to the other Do back. You need to be on your stand. No, I, I said I would be a little few minutes late doing this. Cool. You've got eight tables here to go and try out. Oh, look, there's a 3D version of Village Attacks. I actually think um, these little tables work better than the gaming table we had last year. Yeah, cool. very much so. And they're only IKEA ones, you said. This looks cool. A little 3D version. Oh, that's interesting, yeah. Yeah, just printed up the walls. Yeah, like guys, how's it going? Oh, yeah, not bad. Yeah, just guess. having a quick look. Of course, no worries. All right, so we are at the bottom, yeah? What have we got here? Let's just keep going down. So All right. We're going, we're going to the middle later. Oh, there's Adam finally arrived. <laughs> Jesus. That's that word search type thing, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a Can't massive really version. That really is. Warhammer Adventure Story ga ga uh, books here. I've got a book from there as well. Give, give them free ones away. Oh, man. If they were, they may not be anymore. I don't know what that is. This is cool. Oh, you can take pictures of your kids in there. That's cool. My kids, I'll do it. <laughs> you can't fit your head through there. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh, there's something interesting happening here today. <laughs> I have an interview there. <laughs> uh, manufacturing game. Be speaking about it again after today. <laughs> <laughs> Disney Villainous. Do they have the expansion yet? They do have the expansion there, but not for sale. Oh, right, what? Just, look at it. So you've got three new characters. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. blue one and, and the purple one. <laughs> it's Hades. And Evil the Queen, Queen and some guy that I've no idea. Doctor Facilia. He's from the um, New Orleans one. Isn't it? I can't remember what it's called I don't now. No. Yeah. Quinn Games. They've got a couple of new games out. Those ones on the wall there. <laughs> Just pause the video and have a look. Hey, how's it going, Chris? <laughs> this is a problem. We come to these things more and more and building up like an exposure, and then people keep stopping us and talking. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, Alien RPG. This is Bad Squidder Games. And Sarissa Precision, sort of war game pieces, if you like. See where they're doing some kind of awards or speeches or something here. Yeah, they're going to be doing the um, games presentation here tomorrow, you know, for the best apps, uh, games yeah, and stuff yeah. like some that. Some of the nominations are a bit wonky. Yeah. Hey, whatever, you know. Um, Absolutely not biased um, choices in any way. <laughs> well, what, Chronicles of Crime has been put in for the uh, one of the awards for a Merry Trash oh, game of the year. I saw that. Yeah. <laughs> it's no uh, few well, cold games. Max Pedlinburg is best Euro apparently. Wow. All right, so this is the drop off shop and drop. You can drop games here and you know, go buy some more later. Storm Dragon. This is the Playtest UK. So this is where designers, upcoming designers. Like maybe a few people you might be watching right now <laughs> can play test their games and some interesting paraphernalia stuff, you know, dice bags in new upcoming games that you might want to try and check out. You'll probably be sick of those by now, that sort of thing. You painting planes? <laughs> yeah. Um, dice bag boxes. You can store your dice in them as well. Um, really weird Star Wars stuff. That's Iron Man. Old Buster. What is it? And you can hide it away. It's a, it's a wine, wine cooler. cooler. And then you get your beer holder. Oh man. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> um, I'll give you one of these. I'll give you one of these. I'll give you two. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Love Thanks, it. guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, promoted. It helps. <laughs> Drink more. 
Space Domain, another Space X game. Huh? News to me. Looks like a prototype copy, so you can go pro try. I've also got veggies. Come back later and get the game then. Interestingly, this year I've noticed quite a lot of um, sort of Asian companies coming over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More, um, Japanese and Korean games. The Japanese games are in the Hall 2 as well. Yeah. I don't and think I've seen them here before. And there's more American companies coming over too. So yeah. it's like building its prominence. Quick fire dice game of strategy, tactics, and luck. You want your meeple dice holders and stuff? Hello. Lego people. Thanks, guys. Couldn't see a flash. Art. We have Bezier Games. Trying out the new werewolf replica. Uh, we got some pop culture stuff. We got Harley Quinn dolls and Breaking Bad. Pocket watches. Oh, nice. <laughs> Um, don't know, more games. This is Spirit Games, which is another online store. Hey. Yeah. I've been down this corridor at all. I walked it briefly when I was trying to get a lay of the land. So we've got some scenery stuff. A folded space stand. So last year we had a stand and we were the sole trader of folded space and we had. About 50 or 60 kind of um, items. Yeah. Now they've got a massive a stand that's probably as big, if not bigger, than the one we were on last year. I'm just not selling the folded space stuff. I'm not surprised because their stuff sold out like crazy last it year. Really did, yeah. So you can get oh, all nice. these inserts for all your games. Don't worry, buddy. We're not filming you. <laughs> well, we are now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, we got yeah diesel demo. Oh, this is Ludwest. And there's the man in charge. They're demoing their new game here, which is on the underground. This is coming to Kickstarter soon. Obviously, they're known for Crisis. This is a prototype copy, but it still looks pretty good. Kind of ticket to write this, but it's got more to it. This is one of my favorite stands, Crooked Dice. They do some really awesome pulp stuff, which is really fun. All right, what have we got? Yeah, oh, this is Triple uh, Ace Games. They're showing off their new game, Exploriana. And uh, they've got a new one called Dwarven Beer Fest. This is some information. Over here is Bez doing all his games. Bez? Hello, Bez. Hello, how are you? Not bad yourself? Yeah, good, thanks. Kitty Cat's close me sticker. <laughs> and this is a stand. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Speak to Larry, Bez. <laughs> Go down here? Yeah, sure, yeah. Because we, otherwise we get blocked up in the traffic. This is true, yeah. That last hey, time guys. we was really busy as well. So another store. There's Wotan Games. The bus is fixed again. Was last year they had a problem with the bus. I thought it died, to be honest. I was glad that they managed to resurrect it. Well, maybe it's a new one. It doesn't look, it doesn't look new, no. <laughs> They're doing Camelot the Court. You can go in here and play games, by the way. I'm just going to stick my head through the window. There's no way you'll get up there. <laughs> uh, what else we got here? This is burrows and badges. Fun little sort of... nice Yeah. Kind of like a... What do they call this? Anthropomorphic game? Yeah, that's right. Well. Yeah, really nice, really nice. It looks great. Yeah, it looks really fun, cutesy. I really like it. Might come try that later. How many copies of pairs can I find? Rune Wars and all well, the Rune Wars discount. That hurts my eyes. I went there yesterday and, uh, and there was two people I was saying, I was like, you should buy pairs, both of them bought. The guy's like, man, you'll be working with you next year. <laughs> Just selling pairs. Knight's <laughs> Tavern. We've got more dice boxes and all interesting stuff that I can't go through all now. Shirts. Oh, I saw a nice shirt shop behind our store as well. I might get, I might get Carlo a shirt. 
There's actually some plastic soldier company. clothing cases this year as well. Yeah. Uh, it's Martin Wallace in the background, one of my favorite designers. Esterin, I think it's a role play game, I think. Don't take my word for it. But it looks like it. More stuff over here. And play mats, books, magic cards, TCGs, artwork. I don't even know what else. It's all so many cool stuff. Dice. They are a lot of stands. This is all rolled up. This is uh, Rubicon models. We can get your World War Two stuff. Have you seen that really annoying kind of dice tower where they were putting buckets of dice in it this year? <laughs> no, I haven't seen that either. Um, oh, don't stop here, man. So oh yes, that's the heat pad yeah, thing. We walked past this and I made a mistake of engaging. I was there like 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, I don't want a heat pack. <laughs> Seize the bean over here. Yeah, go. Is it? Let's just go up here. Basically, to the end of the yeah. Board you can see. I mean, this gives you a good view of a lot of the rules. It's quite open here. Yeah. So we've got Team Custard cracking over here. Seven dwarfs over here. They've got their new game on Kickstarter at the moment. Monstrosity. It's a big city destruction game. This is obviously only the prototype. But if you go to the Kickstarter, you can see how it looks there. Looks really fun, real time. Hey buddy, how's it going? Hi, how are you? Not bad, not bad. How's this doing? Well, you can see on Kickstarter Live. We are currently live on Kickstarter, so you can check the game. Yeah. And uh, please support us. It's oh. a great game. Real time strategy. One to four players. Uh, speed dice. Yeah, from Vesuvius Media. From I never mentioned that. So people who do Koval. Dwarfs Winter. Dwarfs Winter. We, we have Dwarf Force Dwarf and Toy Saga and Zoa. Yeah, and you you could get a free game here if you came here this yes, morning, right? Yes, for as long as the stock lasts. There Only 200 uh, copies left. Did somebody say free? What? Free. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, buddy. Big Potato Games. Oh, this Awakened Realms over there. We've got to pop there quickly. Because they've got... Um, apparently bought Picnic. Yeah. <laughs> It's really fun, family is bright. I have noticed every single stand that was here last year has pretty much doubled in size. Yeah, that's why there's three halls now. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they did some excellent packaging when they said your games. Some really fun stuff that they do. But this is what it's about, yeah. Tainted Grail, they got it on demo, yeah. All the figures printed out. It looks really, really cool. Look at that. This did an absolute fortune on Kickstarter. I, I think I like pledged. Really? I think I did. Well, I'm glad because then I'll get to play it. Uh -oh. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. And then obviously they got the others over here. Oh, this is a new one. I don't think I've seen this one. Hand of God, this must be from Awakens Light. It's my game. It's your game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I made it with my friends. And it's tell about gods who have bought and they decide to bet. Who will have the war most worshippers on the, on the map after four okay. turns. You will win, and this is flicking area control game. So you are flicking, oh, flicking area control. Oh, yeah, I see. Yeah. oh, I see. Every god has special powers. For example, some god <laughs> have a uh, hand of god. Yeah. You can, you can control. <laughs> the other god, uh, Dagda, Peter, can flick with left hand, and he can flick two, more, two times oh, okay. in a row. And I hope it will, oh, it will be fun. in uh, weekend or? night. Uh, Probably retail. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Cool. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> All right, let's go back this way, Martin. Yeah, yeah. yeah please do. I've got a weakness for Tartan. <laughs> <laughs> this is on camera, man. <laughs> Don't care if people know. Yeah, well, Margaret might see it. Yeah, well, she knows. <laughs> <laughs> That's why she burned all her Tartan stuff. I know. Yeah. Uh, where we go? Yeah. I'm definitely going back there. <laughs> <laughs> Not to try Head of God. Is this game? <laughs> what have we got down there? What's Dead Zone? So, Bad Squidder Games is just behind there. Hey guys. We got uh, jewelry, interesting stuff. <laughs> Sweets. Oh, nice. Very good. We got. Very impressive. Wow, that's a big table space. Yeah, no <laughs> kidding. Oh, yeah. Pretty immersive. 
you see the card thing? I saw it, yeah, just as I turned over, yeah. This is Gangs of Rome. I really like the look of this. I like this trellis. I'm a complete too. sucker for Siri and I play no games that <laughs> I, Me too, but I don't get to play any more games these days by the looks of things. <laughs> I don't know what this is, but RPG stuff. Um, this is two two ton tomatoes. They've obviously I just did a recently I did a preview for uh, Vay Victus, which was successfully funded on Kickstarter. Hey. We got what the hell is this? Fairy games. Uh, you got a mystery box, 20 bucks, buy a random box of stuff. You can sign up for paintballing. Uh, stuff. <laughs> Frenetic. More periodic table, word game. You got Mantic Games on the left here, showing off Hellboy and Star Saga. On the right here, you have uh, this is um, everything Epic special. Games. Yeah. Oh, I wonder if Tony knows about it. There's Chris Petralis on the left here, owner of the company. Uh, what is Grindhouse? But there's also like a, a kind of like a take that theme to it as well. Okay. Where as you're playing, uh, things come up where you can take damage, but you can also shut that off on other players and stuff like that. Okay. Uh, and as you're going, you're losing appendages and stuff when you get to the end. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it, it's, uh, it's the grindhouse. Absolutely, yeah. So, okay. But so essentially, at the end of the game, you just lose. This is Lopan. The expansion of Kears. Great. Thanks a lot, guys. Gladiatorius on Kickstarter now as well, doing all right. Yeah. We've got Shut Up and Sit Down's uh, booth over here. No, they're just wandering around and playing games up at the plate area. Yeah. There's another shop, the Garage yeah. Gamer. We've got Midifius over here. They just announced the new um, system from the Fallout system for Skyrim. Half right? Yeah. Didn't know that. Uh, yep. And then what we got over here, we got Traveling Man, which is another retail store. Just behind them, you've got Moonstone and TT Combat. A huge store here in England selling some games as well. Oh, Jesus, that travel man store is enormous. Yeah, that's where I picked up my zombie kids, I think. Over here is Whiskits, demoing Smash City. Throne. Yeah. Adam, demoing something. That's right, look at Adam working that hard. Bomonto, whatever that is. <laughs> Should probably go get a demo of that. Quite good. Uh, got another manufacturing company. We've got another retail store, is this? Uh, yeah, it's Games Quest. Oh, Games Quest. Game, massive. We've got a White Peak board game that's coming to Kickstarter soon. Another mountain climbing game. We've got Kleptomaniacs. We've got Warren Wars. But he gets tired of putting that microphone in Yeah. This is Renegade Studios. This is a new American company that's obviously first time here displaying at Expo. They got the new Clank expansion. Quite a big fan of Renegade. Yeah, me too. Great Fox as well, of course. Yeah, Great Fox. They have a much bigger stand than they did last year as well. Last year they were in the corner next to Artipia, I think. Obviously, they decided it's worth coming. Tritex. Tritex, yep. All selling all their usual. Unusual stuff, single villagers, dice, all Heading that sort of stuff. A busy area. Everybody seems to turn left when they come here. They're like yeah. anti zoolanders Right, so here we've got Queen Games on the left here. You know what? I'm really tempted by Luxor. We'll get one of these bags and they're amazing. It's worth buying some of the bag. I use mine all the time. <laughs> what are they demoing new that's new? We've got Skylands over here, Copenhagen. Yeah, I know they got a... Yeah, Copenhagen's probably sold out. Alas. they got a new um, Merlin expansion on Kickstarter at the moment. Games behind us. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, they're always in the same spot every year. Yeah. Uh, they got Devere and Cosmos on this stand over here. 
demoing some of the new stuff. Imhotep two-player duel. A Papau from... It's a new one to me. Papau. That's one of the Divinity new games. This is Board and Dice. This is their new game, Serial oh, West. a lot like LeBron here as well. Yeah, this looks yeah, really interesting. Yeah, it does look good. <laughs> they obviously died, merged with... Um, in his can, so there's cool over there. This is um, Light Seekers, as you can see up there. I mean, they're, they're pretty huge as well. Yeah, they're doing obviously the Warhammer Age of Sigma card game here as well. Yeah, I was looking at the Power Rangers game on Friday at the press event. Yeah, me too. The miniatures are quite funny. Uh, here's the best stand at the convention. Of course, I'm going to say that. Lucky Duck Games. Demoing Chronicles of Crime, Kingdom Rush, Paranormal Detectives, which is one of the new games, and uh, also have the Red View expansion here. Yeah. Hey guys! Hi. Get a wand if you need to get some last minute spells. That's right, yeah. Another retail store, this is still Games Quest. Games Quest yeah. yeah. There's Vince doing, pumping his games out as usual. Got plenty of dice bags, little dice paraphernalia. This is back to the whiskey stand on the left here. Uh, Pathfinder. Yeah. They've got a new version of the um, adventure card game. It's like a core set now. Yeah. So rather than you buying a new core set each time, it's like a core set that you kind of plug in the adventures into. Okay. They play Archipelago later. Nice. I really do like Archipelago. This is new as well, Fritch Hills, two player game. I saw Chris Bromley with a copy of this yeah, yesterday. Well, yeah, but look at the designers. Huh? Ben Batson and Tony Bordell. Indeed, yeah. Nice. Very good. Where well, do I have to come try that then? Nah. <laughs> I was talking to Tony yesterday, it's fine. <laughs> a man at a giant Tokyo Highway, that's cool. Yeah, it looks really cool, doesn't it? A dream home. Orbis, quite like that. Orbis. Yes, yeah, it's alright. It's alright. What stand is this, by the way? Repos. Oh, it's a combination. Ludonate, oh, Repos. Space Cowboy Details. Yeah. What is this? Lost Heroes. This is what you need, man, for your game. Just a little, little counter. Flip over. Yeah, done my <laughs> I've, turn. I've done my turn. <laughs> Here's something I'm definitely going to add. Blackrock Games, a uh, European uh, distributor of games. Got some really nice, interesting games over there. This is it, every year. And every year I've failed to go in. <laughs> Skyrim, what's Skyrim Skyrimscape. It's basically like this noise, you go in like, as far as I know, you're standing like a, a small booth. Hey guys. Repos, that's yeah. the name you were looking for yesterday. That's right, yeah. It's yeah. a that company. Sombrero would be <laughs> Here's the band manager board game you were talking about. Yeah, I tried to uh, Should we get this? Let's go. It's a cool case. Talking of cases, I saw uh, a nice wooden engraved box that you can get for an uh, Akimura card game. Oh, really? Yeah. Wait till you see that. Oh, my God. Wow. That's tomorrow's job. Fun Forge. They obviously got the new Taikaido. But more importantly, they've got Monumental over there in the corner. We played that at their con. With the designer, Matthew Dunstan. Just throwing that out there. Yeah, I mean, he didn't seem that interested in this, though, to be fair. <laughs> Does he not know who we are? We've got Bar Pig and whatnot over there. Got some more retail stuff over here. Back towards the Villainous area, so... Magister Militum on the left here. Um, I think this is a manufacturing company, Story Games, over here. I did the... We've got Castle. Let's go the Dark Castle. Now they've got the uh, sci fi version. Yeah, Escape the Dark Sector. Very uh, it's an old school peculiar point. game. Yeah. Style. This is uh, Planet Games. I don't know. See, this is a Gen 7 expansion. Yeah, you showed me that yesterday. It was quite interesting. I never even knew that was out. That's why I showed you it. <laughs> um, I don't know. Just look at it, and then you guys can comment below who that is, because I don't know. This is uh, Parabellum, war game, so if you miss your old Warhammer Fantasy, this can be the new version for you. This is the new faction, the Nord. Massive giant, isn't it? It's 
pretty big. Look at the size of him. He's massive. Water looks great. Look There's at that. the truck. Uh, <laughs> what is it made of? <laughs> Don't touch it, man. Oh. <laughs> Look at the new Dwargan as well. He's going to chop my hand off. <laughs> Gale Force 9 on the left. Yeah. Is this where Mark Cook works now? No, he's Father of Love, isn't he? It's Gale Force 9. I really want to go and try the um, fire, Firefly game out. Holy crap, what is that? Whoa! That is cool. Friggin' well painted, my god. Ready? Nice. Yes. Oh, the pacing's really good as well. I know, and the worst thing is the guy used to work for us, he used to be nice and cheap, then he decided to go freelance, and I wondered why, and then I saw some of his models and was like, yeah, actually, this that is why. spectacular. <laughs> What's yeah. the name? This is D&D Miniatures, so it's not for an actual game. Okay. So what you're basically using, these are all your NPC characters yeah, yeah, yeah. from the various yeah. uh, Dungeons and Dragons books, of course. Oh, shit. Um, so unlike WizKids, where they do sort of player characters, we do the characters you can't play, but it's... DMs used on the, uh, yeah, on the game yeah. master thing. Hence the gold dragon. Absolutely. So you've got what, Oranax there. What is this? Deep. This here is the Demi Gorgon. Uh, I think ah, it's Stranger from... Stranger Things! Yes, very similar, very similar. I can't remember what book it's on exactly, but yeah, that's the model, and you can see how big it is. No wonder they were shit scared of it. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, and if they'd only had us, they could have actually had the models to see what they look like. Oh, nice. We've got obviously the Dragon Lich, yeah, we haven't got it here today, we've got Red Dragons, which are nice and big as well. So yeah, on the whole, we've got quite a few models. Isn't it yeah, I was, I was trying to get a picture there, close yeah. up. Yeah, it's Durnan of the Yawning Portal, so he's from Dungeon of the Mad Mage. And uh, obviously he's the one that beckons people to come behind the bar that takes the characters in the story down you, to the Dragon Heist. You're giving away secrets now. Yeah. Well, that's just the start of the adventure. Everything yeah, else okay. after that is for the players and then they can decide what to do. I tend to run away when I play my characters. Um, just because I'm a bit of a scaredy cat most of the time, I don't like to die. But yes, yeah, so we've got all these models. Quite, I don't know if you've seen the products on the shelf as well. So we've got quite a few more there that are slightly older models that we haven't got on display. But all of these ones in this cabinet but Sorry, sorry. This is our board game, Bolt of Dragons. This is the one based on the Sons of Anarchy, yeah. isn't it? Yes, yes. So this one here is essentially what to it. it is. This is the game here, actually. We've got it all set out, ready to go. What basically it is, is you're working your way through Waterdeep, going to different locations with your faction. You've got a rogue, um, a wizard and a fighter. And what you're doing is using actions to get through Waterdeep to collect dungeon attempts. Your dungeon attempts will flip over at the bottom there on the tiles, so you get magic and you go and fight through the different dungeons and different parts of it to collect uh, gold. Eventually, you go into the actual dungeon itself, where Oranax is, the gold dragon. Okay. What you're going to do is eventually try and take over his hoard of gold. And that gold dragon is the one that we just That's the one that we've got in the cabinet. Does that's it come free with the game? Oh, do you know what? I wish and it painted, did. I wish it did. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's Oranax with that in about August time, so we've got obviously the painted model here today, but we haven't got the actual model, unfortunately, to sell. Is Torazera not getting another expansion anytime soon? This has got the first expansion, which is the Aberrations of Undead. Yeah, I've had so that. that's the I've first had that ages. When's the new stuff? The next <laughs> one will be coming soon. We've got ideas for it because we're pushing uh, the next yeah, expansion of the Dragons is Clerics, and then we'll be jumping back to Tyrants because Good. they're both yeah. still being pushed. Need me cards. Yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> to go into it, so it's really good. It's really good, we've got a lot happening for it. Yeah, it sounds like it. Cool. Yeah, no problem. Okay. Thanks a lot, buddy. Yes, no problem, have a Cheers. good day, thank you. I really like Sons of Anarchy, I bet that's quite good. Yeah, I think so as well. I think Sons of Anarchy is actually a really underrated game. Well, yeah, I mean, because it's like on sale for like eight quid or something. It's yeah. It's a bargain. You're going to get that and both two or three expansions, or two expansions for about 20 quid. Wild West Exodus, this is from War Cradle Studios. Look at this this board, man. It's fantastic. All, all made Should by the... Should I touch this one as well? Yeah, just break it. Oh, that's a fine, it's fine. Look at this boat, it's freaking amazing. Look at, really, like really a cool. Futuristic or steampunk paddle steamer. The thing is about the tables like this, you don't get to, you can't play like tables like this at home because you can't store it. The problem so, with tables like this is, how often do you want to play on the same terrain because well, you, can't, you can't mix it up well exactly so that's why you want to come to conventions like this and play on a table like this what for their once a year like that oh, I have no idea a lot more than I'm willing to pay yeah. <laughs>
This is their side of the store. And you can try out some of the other games. Oh man, there's so much cool stuff here. Blood and plunder. I'm to make a mental list of things I need to come back to. And I'm, I'm failing already. Alex tried this at Salute. It's actually quite fun. It's a realistic pirate game. Pretty fun actually. Hello mate. Yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. No worries. Oh, uh, what, what? They got a different stand for this. This is the same people who make light seekers, isn't it? I don't know. It's a light seeker one. Yeah, opposite us. Yeah. yeah. This is the shirt company I was talking about earlier. I quite like that one for Carlo. It says something about reading books. There's the light seekers one. That's what I was talking about. Gonna get my bag. On the left here is um, where you can play Vorden's Va Vidorian Gardens, but also City of Kings from Frank West. You've got small islands over here. It's a Another Asian company. This is Inside the Box Publishing. Look, look, look. Subterra 2. Yes, you heard that right. There's James Curtis. Look at him, look at him. He doesn't know he's on camera. I'm on camera. <laughs> you're, you're gorgeous, man. <laughs> <laughs> I got so, a big stand. Yeah, really big, really big. I think Subterra 2 will probably do pretty well for him. Well, Subterra is really popular, so I can't see why Subterra 2 wouldn't be. Quite a lot of Catan to play there as well. Yeah. I'm very intrigued by the Game of Thrones one, I have to say. Yeah, me too, actually, but it's quite expensive. It is, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's go down here. This is where we're at the entrance again. So you can see the last half an hour to 40 minutes that we've been walking around. Jesus. <laughs> I've already seen about, what do you reckon, like 40% of the thing? Yeah. Uh, room 17 games on the right here. Uh, Maya Marsh from... Uh, That's Green. Yeah, Green. Matt Green we're talking about. Uh, Sam. Sam, yeah. They also got... Um, King Museum Rush, which was their first game. There's Frank over there talk, doing demoing King City of Kings. There's a new game over there called Oathsworn that looks really interesting. Sorry, I didn't get a closer view of that. Do you want to see the miniatures of that? I don't know if they come this size, but they look pretty cool. So, look at that. They don't come that size. That's what I'm saying, they're massive. I don't know if they come this size, but they are huge. Oh, I think they probably do. They fit exactly on those hexes. Well, you may be right, you know. Look at this. I mean, all the other figures are just scale with it as Holy well. Holy shit. That is properly impressive. That's a big box. <laughs> yes. <laughs> look, there's more over there. There was a demo and get over there. Oh, it looks interesting. We might come over and check it out later. One last look at City of Kings in Varden Gardens. That is a cute little bear thing. I would have gone cat, whatever. <laughs> 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 Geekson. I thought you were saying Geekson, yeah, I don't know. Uh, Braincrack Games. Awesome. They got the Ragusa game here yeah, in Venice. It's a new line of games for them. That's James now buying a table. Look. Oh, yeah, look at him. So tempted. He's such an impulse buyer. Yeah, I mean, everyone in Pulse buys a four grand table. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we've got River Horse Studios over here with the uh, inverted commas awesome labyrinth game. Hey man, it could be. The miniatures are cool. I've seen them put on like wooden, like plinths uh, yeah. as well. Yeah. They got a, the, what do you call it? Dark Crystal, Dark, Dark Crystal yeah, expansion. Yeah. They've got, they got the virus. Um, Oh, there it is, yeah. They've also got the Terminator game here. Okay. I don't know what this is like, but uh, What's the it looks pretty cool. Between the two? I think one's an uh, expansion, yeah? Like a... I don't know. The expansion, yeah. They also got the Mockingjay game. Uh, that is not finished yet, because I saw that at the retailer thing. All oh, right. And it's like a, a kind of a production copy that this is what the box is going to be like, this is what the insert is going to be like. This is also where you can get the My Little Pony roleplay. Which frankly is bizarre, but hey, Highlander miniatures game. 
uh, Pacific Rim lineage game. So they got quite a lot of IPs as uh, River Horse. Uh, I've not played any of their games other than the original Terminator miniature war game. So unless they give them to us, you won't. <laughs> <laughs> Greater than games. There's the big boss man himself. Hey there. <laughs> Uh, he just straightened his shirt, did you see that? I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else have we got? Another retail store here, I think? Or maybe Atlas Games? I don't know. This is the problem, unless they put sides on it, they are. This is White Wizard Games, with their new game Sorcerer, board yeah. Board. Board, game, board Game Corner KT was telling us about this. Uh, what else we got here? Yeah, they're obviously doing all the Hero Realms and Star Realms and Wonder Realms and whatever other realms they are. D&D &D Dice. I get that wrong every year as well. I know. <laughs> as you might tell, I'm not much of a D&D &D player. Wow, look at this. Hey guys. Ultimate Games Master. Games. Some more family games over here. The telestrations. Battle Foam. Man, there's a lot of stuff in there. More family games over here. We got whatever this stand is. Lots of more games that I've never heard of. I am getting really hot now, you know that. I can't even remember where I got this from. It's from a love here. This is the one I think Mark's working for now. I had a bowl of sweets. They were some of the best sweets I've ever tried. Who, fo the fucking love? Yeah. They were amazing. I don't think they have it for the red base, it was all for the retail stuff. <laughs> the candles were fascinating, though. Look at those. Oh, yeah, they're really oh. awful. <laughs> get it, get it, get it. So <laughs> good. Deep Cut Studio, get your game mats right here. I've got a knife. All right. Get stick your head in there. Go and stick your head in there. Let's see if how he looks as a really dark bunny. <laughs> More wiz white wizard game stuff on the right here. Oh, it's delicious. All right, this is probably going to be it for Hall 1. You know what, man? Because it's a Saturday, it doesn't feel stupidly busy. Well, give it time. I mean, there is more space for people to spread out into, I guess, but... Back to the other side of Harbour here. Yeah. So, I think we might have done all right, you know? I think we have. And just in time before I pass out of heat exhaustion. Yeah, true, it'll be good, mate. <laughs> back to Geeks then on the right, yeah. It's Osprey Games. Are they saying uh, the Devil, the Wildlands version of what's the name here? No. Pegasus. That, that pig is so funny looking. I saw it at the press friend. Oh my god, what is it? <laughs> I don't know, but it looks funny as hell. Two different decks of Team 3. Orc Olympics. Orc Olympic. <laughs> Snow dice. Here we go, look. Train Quidditch guys. I'm 15 for Pegasus. This is Alicat Games. They're demoing the new uh, Dice Hospital expansion. Is Mike doing it somewhere? Uh, There's Cesar in the corner over there, demoing it. This is Osprey Games. Look at the man working hard over there, demoing Wildlands. Yeah. They're also showing off the box art, I think, for the new Wildlands version. Where is that? I could have swore I saw it. Yeah. Uh, maybe they've hidden it again. But yeah, they had a, a Judge Dredd version of Wildlands sticking out here somewhere. Or maybe that was the press release and I'm not supposed to mention that. So don't tell anyone. Well, I put a poke picture online, so it's too late. <laughs> There's Zatu Games, big online retailer. There's Nick Welford running the 
the store over here. We're talking shit as usual. I see they've got 10% of the sticky price now. There was a bit of a controversy. Oh, yeah, really? Hello, mate. And we have Warlord Games over here. Obviously, a wargame company here in the UK. Uh, more shirts and stuff over there. Yeah. And then we're back at the entrance. So, just to show you at the top of the entrance way here, if we can get through the, all these people. Up there is where you go to Hall 2, as that banner says. So, we're going to do that tomorrow morning. Yes, not now. We're going to go get a drink. Sounds good. So, thanks for watching. See you guys later.